Hey, what's up you guys? Hogan the Grim here, and I'm here to give you guys a review on the new Bakugan Geogon Rising Viperagon Geogon. So, this is, I found these at a wall, at this, um, Walmart. That's next to the Toys R Us where I found the Age of Auralist packs, and I bought, I got Viperagon from my Ventus Aqua's Darkest deck. And teammate Daniel picked Stardox and Joaquin also wanted the Viper. I was at Ventus, but this is the only Ventus we had. So tomorrow I'm going to be hunting for, uh, what was it? Slugler. Hopefully I can find a Diamond Slugger. And I also heard there's a rare Stardox. So I'm going to try to find that one as well. And before I crack this open, I am just going to do a packaging comparison between the Bakugan Trap from New Vestroya. So the Geogons are the new Bakugan traps for the reboot, and as you can see, this one comes sealed, and this one is partially open. Um, num and this one just comes with a gate card. This one comes with uh, two ability cards, one gate card, and the uh, battle sheet rules. Here you have the back with uh, some product shots. Um, I found Arc Lion by um Salt. Sertoran, Stardox, and Mutasec. I couldn't find Slugler. And here, out of all these, I, this one's Zoic. I only have Tripod Epsilon. Because um, I wasn't really into Bakugan back in the day, but now that I'm back at it, um, I did. I was able to purchase an additional Trap Bakugan. So, anyway, let's get to it and crack this guy open. Here is Viperagon out of the packaging. Well, in its uh, sealed form anyways. Here we have the instruction booklet and the cards it comes with. So let's take a look here. This is my first time do opening these Geogons. I did a little research on how they work. Still not a bit, I'm still not sure. So it comes with two ability cards, this gate card. Man, I love these. I love these gate cards. You know, throwback to the old legacy um, Bakugan, and I love that these gate cards are how you're gonna play Bakugan in the simplified version. And here's the instruction booklets. I'm gonna read out loud how you're gonna um, use the Geogon. So, this is how you play the uh, simplified toy version. Very similar to how the um, old Bakugan, how, how the legacy Bakugan works. So here's how it goes for Geogon. Once each game, when a player is about to lose a brawl, if they miss their roll or have a or have lower B than the opposing Bakugan, they can announce a special Geogon summon. This means they will use one of their Geogons to substitute for that brawl by dropping it onto a gate card, onto a gate from one card length up and use and use that Geogon's Brawl. I'm guessing it's the same thing for the um, for the simplified card version where you can drop it on any random back for. For Battle Gears, this one back is on. If you back of your toys and cards, if one of these does back of one line on the key card with the back of gear symbol on, add the back of gears B, back of gear cards B to your B score for the Brawl. Okay, yeah. So this is based. So unlike the original Legacy game, these Geogons do not change attribute. They do not change your background attributes. Instead, they act sort of like how the traps did in the anime. Oh, damn, these instructions are super hard to fold. Who's gonna win? Hogan the Grim or a piece of paper? Okay, there you go. So basically, here are the ability cards. I'm gonna let's take a look at them. So first off, we have the Viperagon uh, card. It's 500 B and 10 um, damage. Ooh, and if you land on a shield, plus a thousand B and minus five damage. Oh, well, guess whose uh, deck plays mostly shield course. 
I'm going to grim right here. Team leader. Then we have a nice ability card. It's Sonic Scream. It says plus 10 damage. And there's this microscope. Which I'm guessing is look at your opponent's hand. I don't have a Geogon deck yet. So once they release those, I'll pick one up and see how the game works. Give me a sec. Anyway, let's see how Viperion looks transformed. Oh, here we go. Now, this is pretty cool. I don't know if he, uh, if he has any manual parts. No, it doesn't look like it. This is... This looks beautiful. I love the translucent plastic. I love that Spin Master is using the translucent plastic again for these Bakugan. Because... Being restricting the uh, trans the transparent plastic to the uh, diamonds was was a bad move. You know, I want to see I want to see more of this on regular Bakugan. And here's Viperigan. You can see that his ball form is a bit similar to Griefoot Hydranoi. There's tail. Now, Viperagon does not come with any instructions on how to transform him back, so it's good. I think it's just a simplified transformation, similar to the core ones. I'm going to transform him right here. This is my this is the first time I'll be transforming him. I'm guessing he full of tilt. So, I'm guessing that the head on the tail goes in. You fold the tail up. Yeah, fold the head. Oh, whoa. And then you flip it. Yes, here you go. Viperagon all transformed. Let's look at him again. So, I am definitely going to use Viperagon in this, in my deck, unless Stardox or Slugler um, has better uh, abilities. But... This this is really cool. Spin mask for fifteen dollars Canadian. This is a good deal. Ten dollars for a core, fifteen for this. So like now it's sixteen for an ultra, and was it like eighteen or twenty bucks for a Baku gear and an ultra pack? I'm definitely gonna try to get more Geogons. And now time for some comparisons. What legacy Bakugan? So. Here is Viperagon next to all of my open Bakugan traps. This is the Subterra Zulk. We have a Ventus Metal Fencer. And Pyrus Tripod Epsilon. I had a Subterra one, but I gave it to a friend. And here we have Metal Fencer. And as you can see... He has the attributes, he has hidden attributes here. And the way Bakugan traps worked in uh, um in Legacy Brawl in Legacy Brawl was that you could same thing as Geogon, you needed to have um your Bakugan's attribute match with your Bakugan's trap attribute. So for example, Ventus Metal Fencer had to be paired up with a Ventus Bakugan. And then what you would do is you would just reveal Metal Fencer. You would open Metal Fencer on the gate card. And you could use... And then you could change Metal Fencer's... Your Bakugan's... Battling Bakugan's attribute. To um, one of Metal Fencer's hidden attributes. So if my Ventus Neo Dragonoid was battling a um, Darkest Percival. And Ventus Neo Dragonoid was losing because of the gate card. I would use this, and then I could change it to Aquas or Pyrus to get the a different gate card bonus. So here we go. Here's my Paragon next to Zoic. Next to um, Metal Fencer. Next to... Tripod Epsilon. So I know that I got these two at Montreal Comic Con like two years ago. I don't know how I got Metal Fencer. I don't. Re I really don't remember. 
Actually, I might have gotten from an eBay deal. Anyhow, I love this guy. And I I personally like the the new um the new reboot battling system. Legacy brawling, legacy background was way too simple. And now that it's a fully fledged card game, we can have different strategies and have a lot more fun. Or well, one thing I forgot to mention is that you can there are ports here for back year if you wanted. Alright, that's gonna trip. And then here is Viperagon next to Legacy Brawler Mascot Aquas Praise. Yo, I wish um the Spin Master would release Legacy Backbone that were updated for um the um sorry battle planner rules. I know that it's not gonna happen because of the um because Spin Master does not own the rights to um the Legacy Bakugan well molds anyways because they can they own the rights to Cycloid and Hydronoid, but it would be cool if Takara Tommy did this. So here we have Prius, and I would like to see a Bakugan who can change its attribute. Either um have the attribute changer on it like Prius does. Well damn it, Prius. Or um have have its effect where if you land on a specific back core back of core change its attribute. Here we have Subterra by Paragon next to Subterra Diablo. Subterra Cordo. Darkest Praise 2. My favorite back gun in the entire collection. And I want to show my Paragon next to. Why do I keep dropping? My Ventus Neo Dragonoid. Now, Takara Tommy. Okay. I'm going to say it out loud. I wish Spin Master could cream Bakugans with these gimmicks, you know, a double-sided Bakugan with the attribute changer. And come on, this! This, come on, man, why can't, come on, Spin Master, this is cool! Spinning Neo Dragonoid Vortex. This is my favorite concept, but this is super cool, so why can't you just, Spin Master, if you're watching this, because I'm, I know you're not, but whoever is watching, please share this to Spin Master. Please make new back gone that with old gimmicks, old physical, ah! old physical gimmicks. So that's it for the review, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and Hogan the Grim is signing out.